You look terrible. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 reasons Jacob Black from Twilight is the worst. Doesn't he own a shirt? You can't be serious, Bella. Like, tell me you're not that stupid. Don't get me upset. Hey, stop. Things stop. are gonna get stop. very stop. ugly. Stop. stop. For this list, we'll be looking at the brooding werewolf's most questionable personality traits and worst decisions. If you haven't seen all the Twilight movies, a spoiler warning is now in effect. Are you Team Edward or Team Jacob? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. When he imprints on Renesmee. The Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 1. We know that imprinting is an involuntary phenomenon that occurs the first time a shapeshifter sees their imprintee, but it's also the only reason Jacob doesn't end a newborn baby's life. He may have not been able to control the process, but that doesn't change the fact that he's now bonded to Bella and Edward's child for life, even though Renesmee was just born. You imprinted on my daughter? It wasn't my choice. Imprinting doesn't always lead to romantic relationships, but it's heavily implied through psychic visions and dialogue that Jacob and Renesmee will eventually end up together. It also doesn't help that he spent years pining over her mom. While the imprint's timing may have had more to do with the writing than Jacob himself, its implications are still very uncomfortable to think about. Too weird. Number 9. He Crashes Bella's Prom Twilight Shortly after Bella and her new vampiric boyfriend arrive at prom, Jacob approaches her. Despite the fact that he isn't supposed to be there, he insists on delivering a message from his father. Jacob says his family wants Bella to end her relationship and that they'd be keeping an eye on her. He said, uh, quote, we'll be watching you. He plays it off as casual, but the message itself has a pretty sinister undertone. And even if Jacob had the best of intentions, it was inappropriate of him to deliver this message while she was on a date with Edward. His horrendous timing made it hard for Bella to take the warning to heart. And honestly, we can't blame her. I leave you alone for two minutes and the wolves descend. <laughs> Number 8. Serious Anger Management Issues – The Twilight Saga What is your problem? Right now, you're my problem. Feeling sick? Maybe you need to go to the hospital. Do werewolves have anger management counselors? If so, Jacob needs to find himself one. He constantly struggles to control his anger throughout the film series. When enraged, Jacob lashes out with harsh insults, physical violence, or a combination of both. Don't. Get me upset. Hey, stop. Things stop. are gonna get stop. very stop. ugly. Stop. stop, He once got so angry that he nearly ran a couple off the road while in his wolf form. Making matters worse, Jacob rarely apologizes for his outbursts. And since he's easily angered, his tantrums are extremely frequent. Although Jacob claims vampires are Bella's biggest threat, his aggressive nature arguably makes him one of the most dangerous people in town. What if I got mad at you? Number 7. The Cullen Cuddling Incident The Twilight Saga Eclipse I can't sleep with all that teeth chattering going on. When Bella needs to hide from vicious vampires, she camps out in the mountains with Edward and Jacob at night. After the temperature drops, however, she can't stop shivering. Jacob volunteers to use his abnormally high body temperature to keep her warm. But once they start cuddling, he takes it as an opportunity to mess with Edward. Can you at least attempt to control your thoughts? I really get under that ice cold skin of yours, don't I? Jacob insults his romantic rival and tries to make the case that he's the best person for Bella. Although he makes a few good points, he has this conversation while Bella is trying not to freeze to death. Jacob also makes no secret of how happy he is to be with Bella in this way. He should have been more concerned about Bella catching hypothermia than his love life. And let's face it, I am hotter than you. Number 6. He doesn't stop pursuing Bella. The Twilight Saga. And you need to know that I'm in love with you. And I want you to choose me instead of him. There's nothing romantic about pressuring someone into a relationship, but that doesn't stop Jacob from persistently pursuing Bella. He repeatedly overwhelms her with large and one sided displays of emotion. So I'm not giving up. I'm gonna fight for you. until your heart stops beating. If Bella rejects Jacob, he'll back off momentarily before trying again a few days or even hours later. And when she does decide to hear him out, he'll try to guilt her into giving him a chance. Jacob never gives it a rest. 
It doesn't matter whether he's trying to avoid vicious enemies or recovering from serious injuries. If Bella's nearby, he's trying to make her fall for him. Jacob's inability to take a hint puts more stress on his already strained relationship with Bella. I'm exactly right for you, Bella. It would be as easy as breathing with me. Number 5. Kissing Bella Without Consent The Twilight Saga Eclipse I just want to do this differently. Smoother. But now I'm out of time. In the Twilight Saga Eclipse, Bella struggles to decide if she's ready to marry Edward and become a vampire. But before she can make a decision, Jacob decides to insert himself into the relationship. He makes another impassioned plea for Bella to be with him. When she doesn't budge, Jacob forcefully kisses her. The kiss makes her so upset that she hurts her wrist punching him in the face. It doesn't matter how strong Jacob's feelings are, Bella clearly didn't want that kiss. His romantic gesture is in fact repulsive, and Edward isn't shy in calling it like it is. Don't do this Let me here. give you a clue. Wait for her to say the words. Fine. Jacob might see himself as a romantic, but in this moment, he's a creep that doesn't care about consent. I wasn't asking for permission. Number 4. Making Edward Think Bella Was Dead The Twilight Saga New Moon While Edward is isolating himself overseas, Bella jumps off a high cliff and nearly drowns in the ocean below. When he calls her house to see how she's doing, Jacob rudely answers the phone. The werewolf tells Edward that Bella's father is planning a funeral. Jacob thought this news might keep the vampire away from Bella. Why would you? Why didn't you let me speak to him? She didn't ask for Bella. you. I don't Bella. care! Bella! But when the grief-stricken Edward decides to end his life instead, Bella risks her life to go and save him. If Jacob hadn't manipulated the situation, all of this drama and danger could have been avoided. Tricking someone into thinking a loved one is dead is cruel, but doing it to get a girl to yourself? That is seriously twisted. Always in the way. Number 3. Blowing Up at Bella's Wedding The Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 1 The best man didn't have time to get a tux. Jacob wasn't exactly happy that Bella was getting married to a vampire, but when he showed up to the wedding reception smiling, it seemed like he had finally accepted the relationship. Jacob and Bella are having a good time together at first, but when she mentions that she'd be remaining human during the more <clears throat> active parts of the honeymoon, he immediately goes berserk. You can't be serious, Bella. Tell me you're not that stupid. Jacob insults her, grabs her, and has to be pulled away by the members of his pack. The tantrum Jacob throws during the reception proves that Bella made a mistake letting him anywhere near her wedding. This is what soon I'm gonna be dead to you. Number 2. Threatening to Hurt Himself The Twilight Saga Eclipse After eavesdropping on a conversation in which Bella talks about her engagement, Jacob flies into a rage. He tells her that he wouldn't mind getting himself killed since she won't be with him. Maybe I'll get myself killed and make it simple for you. No! Just… Jake… Stay. Although Bella keeps offering Jacob support and apologies, he refuses to back down from his threat until she kisses him. Jacob! Kiss me. He doesn't care that she's only doing it to stop him from hurting himself. Jacob milks the moment for all it's worth, then runs into battle anyway. Unbeknownst to him, however, their brief makeout session helped convince Bella that Edward was her true soulmate. It's almost like emotionally manipulating people into kissing you doesn't work. That should have been our first kiss. Before we call out our top pick, here are a few honorable, or in this case, dishonorable mentions. He's always shirtless, the Twilight Saga. Doesn't he own a shirt? Showing Charlie werewolves exist without warning. The Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 2 I solved a problem. You were leaving. Giving Renezme a terrible nickname. The Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 2 From the beginning, it was Nessie who wanted me there. Nessie? You nicknamed my daughter after the Loch Ness Monster?! His questionable age gap with Renezme. The Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 2. Still short is my Joking about marrying Bella's daughter. The Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 2. So should I start calling you dad? No. Hey. 
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Nearly Ending an Infant's Life The Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 1 I can see what that thing's doing to you. It's a killer, Bella. You're wrong. It's extremely risky for a human to carry a vampire's baby. So when Jacob finds out Bella is pregnant with a potential vampire, he immediately asks her to reconsider. After a lot of coaxing, the hot-headed wolf agrees to protect her and the child, but he nearly goes back on his word in the worst way. Tell Sam that when the moment comes, I'll be the one to destroy it. Jake! I'm the only one who can. When Bella appears to die in childbirth, Jacob almost kills baby Renezme a few hours after she's born. The fact that he even considered committing such a heinous act raises the question as to whether his character can be redeemed. If Jacob truly cared about Bella, he would never threaten her child. Well, I can see what everyone's been talking about. <sighs> Jake, you really do stink. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.